If you've ever been to an NHRA event, you've no doubt seen one of the most fascinating rituals in motorsport, the top fuel or funny car warm-up. Fans love the sensory overload they get when these cars roar to life and spew nitro into the air. It looks simple. Start the car, let it run, shut it down. But there's a lot more to it than that. Funny car driver Ron Caps takes us through it step by step. One of the great aspects of NHRA drag racing is the fact that the fans can get close to the action. Now you'll notice a lot of fans getting around the pit area when the cars warm up. Now there's different ways of warming up. The first thing I do when I get in is I'm going to make sure I got my ignition switch off. Fuel pump is off because what's going to happen is one of the crew members is going to have the starter on the car and you're going to hear them spin it over. A lot like you do at the starting line where you hear a car get spun over by a starter before they start it. What it's doing is it's blowing all the fuel out of the pipes and the cylinder heads. You want no nitro residue left in the cylinder heads. That's what happens when you see an explosion when they start it. At that point, I'll turn the ignition switch on. The starter is going to be spun over by a crew member and he pulls the mag wires. That's going to light the car. Once it starts, I pull the fuel pump on real quick. That puts the fuel into the motor. And once it's on all the way, I'll back the motor down while Ace is doing his stuff at the front of the motor. I'll get it about where he likes it fuel pressure wise. From there, he can fine tune the fuel pressure as it starts up. Once he gets the idle right, he'll nod to me. And at that point, I'll let the clutch out, get the tires turning. We're doing a couple things there. We're warming up everything in the rear end. Then I'm feeling the clutch too to make sure it's going to go into reverse okay. Once I check reverse, I put it back into forward. And then what's going to happen is they're going to check the magnetos one at a time to make sure there's not a short in them. At that point, Ace is going to give me the nod. Now what we're going to do is we're going to check the tug. What he tells me to do is pull the pump all the way on. I'll pull the pump on. And just like at the starting line when we're staging the car, once the pump's on, I'll wait about 1,001, 1,002, then I let my foot off the clutch. And that's what we call tug. You'll hear an RPM drop. After we've checked forward and reverse, Ace is going to give me the signal that we're going to get ready to check the ignition. So at that point, I'll let my foot off the clutch, get the wheels turning. Our crew guy will take the throttle cable, push it down all the way. It's not connected to the injector, but when he pushes that down all the way, my pedal goes down, pushes the button underneath it, which activates the timers like it does on a run. And actually, they can check the timers and make sure they're accurate during the warm-up by that procedure. When they're done with that, I'll flip the fuel off, let the motor come up, shut itself off, and then turn the ignition off once the motor shut off. Now, once the warm-up's out of the way, I get up, get out of their hair. They don't even let me work on this thing, so I go out and sign autographs. They get everything ready, and up to the starting line we head.